Welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video you will learn how to create user and user groups and how you can assign rights, for example, to view displays or change objects to this user groups. We are providing a framework for this tutorial. You can find the link for the import file in the video description or in Advice Live. The new access control features are available from Advice version 3.6. The Advice Access Control is based on the UPC UA Access Control feature and is applied to all data access. The Access Control is implemented into all layers of the visualization, starting from the change of values up to adding data sources to the project. So it's possible to create flexible flat or hierarchical authorization structures. Additionally to the hierarchical structures, Advice distinguish between visualization and developing users. Beside the login on the visualization, developing users can also access the Advice server via the Advice Builder. In this video, we will implement a complex authorization structure. The example is a visualization to control two machines, Machine A and Machine B. Each machine is controlled by an operator user group, which can view values and switch it on or off. At a higher level, there is an engineer user group which is able to change process parameters as well as having access to the Advice Builder. Open the Advice Builder with a new empty project. Since Advice 3.6, the default access control to the Advice Builder is active. You can deactivate this feature later related to your project needs. Log in with the default user, root. In a new project, the root user has no password. This user is always available and after creating a new project, you should set a proper password. Choose one of the default layers and click on OK. In the window name, you can now see which user you are logged in with. In the status bar at the bottom of the window, you can also see the connection status to the Advice server, the address of the Advice server, the project directory, as well as the logged in user. With a click on the bell icon in the lower right corner, you can open the message box, where messages about the communication between the server and the client are listed. Here you can also see the warning that the standard user has no password yet. In the main menu, you can find a new menu item, Access Control. The first entry, Assign Access Rights, opens the Access Control Editor. With a click on Settings, a new window for basic login settings opens. The checkbox Require OPC UA Authentication activates or deactivates the login when connecting with the Advice Builder. By selecting the option Require Visualization Authentication, an additional login window shows up before you see the visualization. Choose the option and click on OK. Open your browser and connect to the Advice Server. You can now see a configurable login page before you have access to the actual visualization. Go back to the Advice Builder and deactivate the feature. By selecting Set Anonymous and NTLM users as Project Administrator, Project Administrator rights are assigned to these users. This is mandatory for older or updated projects and will be automatically activated in the update process using the maintenance tool. Open the section User and User Groups in the project tree. You can see the default user groups, anonymous and authenticated user, as well as the default user root. Import the provided framework. Under the menu item builder, click on Import Absolute from XML and choose the previously downloaded file. In the framework you can find two objects, machine A and machine B. Each machine has an overview display in the display folder user. In the display folder system is a settings display where the engineer user group can change parameters for both machines. Beside the current values, the process parameters and the displays, every object has a parameter on, which switches the machine on or off. First we will create all necessary user and user groups. Right click on user and then on add user. Enter a name for example operator A and click on OK. Open the user settings with a double click on the user. Here you can add a full name, predefined language of the user or set a password. 
Since Advice 3.6, it is also possible to define an individual default and main display for each user. To add more information like department or position, you can easily add an information field. Click on the table icon and enter a name, for example number, and any number as value and click on OK. In this window you can also assign the default access rights. Project administrators have access to the whole project and all functions like the root user. You can see this option as super user flag. By selecting the option OPC UA server, the user is able to log in with the advice builder. By selecting visualization, the user gets access to the visualization. By selecting the option node browser, the user can also see the node browser in the advice builder. Because our user needs to log in into the visualization, we select the visualization right. Save the user and repeat this for a second user with the name operator B. Add a third user with the name engineer. This user gets also the access rights for the advice builder. To do so, select the access right OPC UA server. Now create the corresponding user groups. Right click on groups and then on add group. Enter a name for example operators A and click on OK. Open the group with a double click and choose the user operator A from the list below. Save the user group. Repeat this for the user group operators B as well as the user group engineers. Now we will assign rights for the displays and objects. Click on the menu item access control and then on assign access rights to open the access control editor. On the left side all items where access rights can be added are listed. On the right side all user groups and its assigned rights are listed. In the upper left list you can find predefined system functions. In the lower left list you can add your own rights for folders, variables, displays or other objects. To assign rights you first have to select the function or the object, then you select the user group and finally select the rights. The group's anonymous and authenticated user has predefined default rights. The rules of the user anonymous are always applied if the user is not logged in. The rules of the group authenticated user are applied for all logged in users where no specific rule for an element is defined. A grey row means that the right can't be assigned. A filled circle means that the right is assigned. An empty circle means that the right is not assigned. The rules of the group anonymous and authenticated user will be overwritten if new rights are assigned. You also can change the view of the advice builder by assigning rules. Because we work in this example with object types, we first have to grant access to types for all user groups. Select types from the left list and then select the user group engineers and choose the engineer right. All lower ranked rights will also be assigned. Then select operators A and assign the read right. Repeat this for the operators B group. Now we will grant access for the settings display for the user group engineers. Click on the plus icon and navigate to my server, objects, agent, displays, system and select the display settings. In the upper right area select the engineer group. Select the engineer right. Now we grant the right for the overview display of machine A. A faster way for assigning rights is to drag and drop a specific object from the project tree into the list. Select the overview display of the machine A from the project tree and drag it into the list. Select the user group operators A and then the read right. Then select the user group engineers and also the read right. Select the overview display of machine B from the project tree and drag it into the list. Choose the user group operators B and assign the read right. Also assign the read right to the engineers group. The operator groups of each machine should be able to read all values of the machine. So we have to assign also the right to read from the machine object to the user groups. Select the machine A object and drag it into the list. Then assign the read right to the operators A. 
then select the engineer's user group and assign write rights to the user group. Repeat this for the machine B object and the user group operators B as well as the engineer's user group. The operators of each machine should also be able to switch the machine on or off. Select the parameter on from the machine A object and add it into the list. Grant write access for the user groups operators A and engineers. Also select the parameter on from the machine B object and add it into the list. Grant write access for the user groups operators B and engineers. Finally, save the access write settings. Open your browser and connect to the advice server. An unauthorized user has no rights to view displays of objects. Log in with the user engineer. You can now see that you have full access to the objects as well as all parameters. The engineer user is also able to see the overview displays of the machines and the parameter display. Also the user can change values. Now log in with the operator A. Contrary to the engineer group, the operator is only able to see the values of machine A. In the menu there is also just one overview display and the operator A is able to switch the machine A on or off. In the on-off switch of the machine B there is now an indicator which indicates that the user has no rights to read or write the underlying parameter. Now log in with the operator B. You can see that the operator B has the same rights for the machine B like the operator A. Congratulations, you have successfully added user and user groups and assigned different rights for displays and objects to them. Thank you for watching this advice video tutorial. For more information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us on advice.com.